Welcome to this week's box chat. We are going to be touching on stress relief and mental wellness and staying active. Mm -hmm. So we thought that this would be really fitting as yeah. on Monday it was Blue Monday mm -hmm. and then this week is focused on mental health as a whole community. Mm -hmm. um, so we thought that maybe we could touch on how the fitness aspect of that yes. could be very important for your mental health. Yes. Um, typically, the third week in January, I believe it is, is yes. considered the week where most people are depressed or they find that they're just not um, in that happy place that maybe they were at over Christmas and New Year's, um, and that's where we see more stress. Uh, things start to happen as far as, you know, your visa bills start coming <laughs> on, and on. The weather's not the greatest, as we can see in uh, southwestern Ontario. It's not been the greatest. Um, the lack of sunlight, just everything maybe starts to pile up again. You're starting to get back into a routine after having some time off over the holidays. And I think this is where physical activity plays a key role in boosting that mood. Um, whether it's hitting the gym, going for a walk, um, just doing a quick 10, 15 minute workout at home, practicing some yoga, anything to just boost that mood. But I think the key is you need to start getting active. Yeah, get those endorphins pumping. Yeah. Um, especially when we're not getting that natural vitamin D, like mm -hmm. today it's very foggy yeah. um, where we live. So there's like zero sunlight yeah. and we haven't had a whole lot of sunlight from like beginning of January until now, yeah. except for a couple of days on the weekend, we actually had some sun and I was like, okay, here we and go. I think everybody was <laughs> outside just enjoying it. Yeah. Didn't matter how cold it was, we were just outside. Like we got to like, absorb this vitamin D. Yeah. So on the days that we don't necessarily have that vitamin D, yeah. Getting your body moving, getting your heart rate up is going to help to boost those endorphins and give you that feeling of euphoria, yeah, basically, exactly. yeah. is what I would explain it to be, that you get from getting that energy, like that heart rate up yeah. and also being inside and getting yeah. the um, sunlight that you usually do, but right now you don't have that. Yeah, so, yeah. And, and, and I think to add on that with the lack of sunlight, and your energy level is already low, then it's the motivation to even start something. So I think, um, I know we touched on it on, on, on another video, is that accountability piece. So yeah. um, if you need somebody to be accountable to, talk to somebody at a gym to see how that would fit into your goals. Um, talk to neighbors or friends, say, hey, do you wanna go for a walk after work? Or anything to try to get yourself moving is key. Um, not only for your physical health, but your mental health. They just go hand in hand as far as I'm concerned. Um, one feeds off the other. And you'd be amazed how quickly your mood can switch around. Even on a gloomy day like today, um, where normally you would feel like extra tired, extra um, low energy, even staying active and continuing to stay active, your mood will not be as bad as it was as it was where you were totally trying to hibernate in your in your house during these uh, gloomy days of yeah. January. And now that things have pretty well fully opened up since mm -hmm. everything that's happened the last few years, like there's the Clinton indoor track that's close here. So if you're kind of the person yeah. that like maybe doesn't want to walk outside when it's kind of drizzling or yeah. that cold weather outside, grab a clean pair of running shoes and it's open yeah, all the time. Exactly. And you can just throw them on and you can walk in around there. And there's usually lots of people, so sometimes you'll make friendships that you didn't even know exactly. you were yeah. going to make of people that walk there at a certain time of the day every mm -hmm. day and maybe you can meet up yeah. with them and build that new friendship yeah. and have that component yeah. of both just wanting to walk and chat at the same time. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, take care of yourself, um, get moving, find something that you like, um, stick to it. But I think the key is to do something at least 10, 15 minutes every single day. And you will notice over time how quickly that affects your overall well-being. Well -being, yeah. yeah, And getting out of the house, I think, is a yes. big thing. Not yes. being confined to a space all the time. 
Yes, getting that new stimulus. Over two years, we were kind of told, mm -hmm. stay home, don't do not do things, and yeah. now it's, we need to um, embrace the opportunity that we, yeah. we have to get outside and actually do something. I agree. Yeah. All right, well, thank you for joining us, and hopefully you find something that will uh, boost your mood and your energy and um, help your overall mental wellness. Thanks, See ya.